Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Monster Hunter World. We have a mission to go on. We need to go accept the Sinister Shadows in the Swamp quest. May as well just do that and get it over with, you know. We gotta go look out for one of our missing researchers that's out in the Wildspire Waste areas. Areas? Area. There's one. There's one area. Um, Sinister Shadows in the Swamp. It's just gonna be me. We don't need extra people. That's fine. Finish. Um... We could use a voucher. We need to use those soon because we're full up. We got all five. And basically, when you do your daily login, you get one of these vouchers. You're, you're like, hey, I'm here. I'm here today. Give me my free stuff. You get daily stuff every day. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool thing. You get vouchers. And they have one use. You can use one on a quest. That's all. If you do that, it increases the rewards or maybe increases the odds of getting rarer rewards. Because rewards are not, not... I mean, you're, you're guaranteed to get some stuff every time you hunt a monster, but... You know, some items are rarer than others. Um, Let's not use one here, but on, like, the next quest or so. I'm going to be recording a couple of these videos back-to-back -back here, so... We'll use one of those soon. Anyway, Sinister Shadows in the Swamp. Let's do it. Let's rock and roll. We need to go look for our new missing person. Also... We could just hop up here and eat some food real quick, you know? We haven't visited our friendly Meowskular chef in a little while. He doesn't have any quests for us or anything, but maybe he'll make us something delicious. Something very, very delicious. And also we have some rations. May as well get some more rations going. That sounds great. Um, I'm not going to mess around with custom platters too much. We'll do that later. It, there's not much point right now. Uh, extra attack power, defense, elemental resistance. I mean, they're all pretty good. I like the attack power. I wish we could get extra health from that, but it's not going to change our max HP. That's fine. Oh, fantastic. Awesome. Okay, cool. We have a little extra attack power for the mission. Let's get going. Let's go find us a missing researcher. Okay, and because we're on a quest, look for the scholar. He must have left some kind of trail. Ooh, screamer pods. I like that. That's new. We haven't had any of those yet. Um, we'll eat an easy ration just to make sure that our stamina bar is completely maxed out. Screamer pods. I'll be ready on the nullberries. We may end up needing to use those. I'm not sure. And Grab some herbs. You know, it couldn't hurt to kill some Kelbies. These are the deer creatures here running around. We can get their horns, which are a pretty rare material. A, a rare in that they're easy to get from Kelbies, but, you know. Who does that anyway? Ooh, the Scholar! We're we're finding the scholar's footprints. We're looking for the scholar. That's right. That's right. We don't. We're not here for a monster. Also, because I'm easily distracted, we're gonna come over here and grab the mite seed because this is always a good thing to grab. I like having those. Mite seeds can be mixed into things that'll boost your attack power, and you can make like a cool AOE version that'll boost your attack power and then anybody else that you happen to be hunting with. You can do like a mega attack power increase that doesn't last as long, but it's a bit more powerful. All sorts of cool stuff that we can huh? mix. Wait, what's that there? Hmm, what is that and what color are our bugs? Wait, wait. what's going on with the scout flies? Yeah. Yeah, that was my question. That's strange. Something's up with the scout flies. Well, 
Let's just pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> we'll just ignore whatever that mystery stuff is. Oop, here we go. More human footprints from our scholar friend. Yep, definitely on the scholar's trail. The game is pointing me from one clue to another. Also, sleep herbs. Very, very important still. There's more old splintered thorns. What is this? What are these? What's going on here? Hmm. Also, because I see that green dot ahead of me, we're going to go hopefully recruit us a Grimmelkine. Somebody who can help us out with whatever we need to be doing here. Oh no, it's you again. It's the, the kitty cat. The gatherer palico. That's also cool. Totally acceptable. We got us a tail raider now. I would love to grab more of these sleep herbs. Do we have another clue? What are you pointing me towards? What's... what is this? What's happening? Ooh, there's a book. There's just a book leaning against the log here. I will also grab the Wiggly Litchy. Oh man, there's more! Look at this! Look at all these spiky thorns everywhere! Just looking at it makes your blood freeze, eh? Oh, it's the giant catfish down there attacking me and my pet cats. Alright, we need to kill some of you eventually, anyway. The Gajos. We actually have a couple of missions to do to get more um, canteen materials, and one of them is to kill a bunch of these things. Oh, and there's another one to kill a bunch of Vesporids, actually. That'll get us the Vesporid shells? Vesporid wings? Whatever it was. There's something we need to make an armor piece or something? Uh, I don't remember. There's something like that. I remember it was from Vesporids. That's about all I got. Um, also, I think we haven't really... Oh, we, we gotta do this. Never mind. Hold on to that almost thought. <laughs> more old splintered thorns, more footprints. Um, wedge beetles. We haven't really done these yet, but these are pretty cool. We can latch onto them with our grappling hook. Isn't that awesome? Oh, they're so much fun. I'm so easily entertained by all the cool stuff you can do in this game. And there's a whole bunch of them here, so we can hop around a fair bit. And they're in a bunch of other areas, too. These are just the first ones we run into. And they're very fun. And another mite seed. Don't mind if I do. Um, there's also, I believe, yeah, here we go, null berries. We have three of them. The game gave us three of them in the supply box. Null berries are an amazingly good item. I like them a lot. They will remove various types of blights that monsters can inflict. It, is that the scholar? What's that he's sitting next to? It looks like a... A Baroth? Sweet, the scholar killed a Baroth all by himself. Maybe he wants to be a hunter. We should try to recruit him. God, don't let him find me. Don't let him find me. Oh, I, I saw it. No, the Juratotus, that didn't kill the Baroth. It was a... Uh, uh. oh. Yes, good use of Wedge Beetle. I was just talking about those. Well done, Hunter. New target. New target. Hunt that Juratotus. Proceed with caution. Oh, you were just not fun. 
I have no idea how to fight this thing with a gun lance, so this is gonna be fantastic. We're gonna be learning! Yes, it should be reminiscent of the Baroth, in that it's all covered in mud that we gotta kinda deal with. Alright, we're chipping the mud off of him slowly but surely. Ooh, actually, you know what? We got a Slinger Thorn here. Or Stinger Thorn. Thorn Pods? Those are pretty sweet. Oh no, and I'm in the goo. Gosh darn it. Yeah, just like Baroth. Mud is... Mud is just kind of the theme of the swamp here. Ooh, Iron Helm Crab. Give me more. Give me more things to shoot, please. Oh, and we got water blighted, so we're gonna try to de-blight. Oh no! Nope, 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 nope. Okay, good. Oh, dang it, he still got me. Oh, we've knocked all your mud off your main body. That's pretty sweet. And you dropped a thing, too. I like that as well. Alright, we're going back to Screamer Pods. We got a fin. Nice. Yes, I love this. Can we do the big shot? Right in the face? Yes! So good. Uh, our weapon is at, like, critically low sharpness, though. Are you going underwater? Are you going underground? Are you gonna dig? Kinda hope you will. Ah, that didn't work. You're just... He's re-mucking himself up. He's getting all covered in mud again. So we're gonna have to deal with that. Um, again, if we go pick up the water shot stuff, we could just knock the mud right off. Also, uh, potions would be kind of helpful here. Oh, I forgot to use the easy meds. We should use those because they're temporary. They're only for this mission. You want to fight not in the middle of the water, please? That would be very cool. Oh no, an emerald shell. No, we should have caught one of those. Those are super rare. Uh, oh well. We have one, we can sell it. That's pretty cool. We can only sell it. That's literally all that it's for. It's a trading item. It means you, you sell it. It's for money. Yes! Alright, we're going for a ride now. Um, there's also another Baroth in the area, it appears. I don't see one. Girototos and Baroth don't get along, if you couldn't tell by the Girototos coming up out of the water and trying to attack the Baroth corpse that was on the ground by the, the hunter. Or the, not the hunter, the researcher. Hello, should we blow your head up? Can I not do... Oh, I don't have a... I don't know, whatever. I don't understand how the Wyvern's Fire stuff works. I wanted to do that. Where are you going? It left some old sticky mud around. I need to sharpen my weapon again. I need to reload. We just we got so much to do. I don't want to miss out on any potential turf wars though between monsters. There's almost certainly a Baroth up ahead here. I love that he leaves like the muddy trail. I don't know. Girototus is a really cool monster. Alright, Geototos, you're up here somewhere. I know you are. I'm gonna grab some water shot. Some puddle shot from the water moss. Puddle pods. Um... You just hanging out here? Start washing some some mud off your face. Alright. We've got plenty of mud off of them. Yeah, 
And we got a scale, too. Cool. And he got staked, which is pretty sweet. Let's just go ahead and reload here. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, don't get all muddy again. That's gross. Hey, look at that. Knocked him out of it. Not, not quite what I was trying to do. That would have been cool if I'd hit. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll just we'll do one of those instead. That's fine. We'll pretend that that was all intentional. What did you drop? Another like scale or something? Wyvern tier. Nice, just two hundred free points. We're knocking all sorts of stuff off of you. <laughs> that was really cool looking. Oh, Baroth just showed up. We got a turf war now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, I don't want to be in the middle of this. Not at all. This is so cool, though. <laughs> Alright, they body slammed each other. Pretty sweet. We might actually want to start getting in on some of this action now. Jirotodos is looking pretty rough. He's been pretty banged up. Uh, da -da -da -da. And usually when monsters interact like that, they drop bits and pieces. So we got a... We got a Baroth material. I don't see any Jirotodos material, but we've already knocked a lot of stuff off him. So I'm kind of not surprised by that. Um, I would love to recharge. Should have grabbed more water moss, actually. Let's do that while we're here. Is there more? Can we grab... I mean, I'll take, like, rocks or anything at this point. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. That's Baroth. Okay, Baroth is not interested in us. He's got bigger fish to fry. Well, quite literally, he has a big fish, and he's hungry. And there's a good chance... Here, we're gonna just... Nope, nope, come... No, 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 come on. There we go. Just do that and get it over with. Grab some Excite Shrooms. Those are pretty good. Pretty helpful. Ah, Jirotodos is sleeping. Nope, not what I wanted to do. Here we go. What? Oh, can I not do this in the water? Is that what's going on here? Oh my gosh, that makes a huge amount of sense. We'll explode your tail instead. And immediately get all muddied up. I wore a stake to the face! And into the muck. Alright. That's why having that bear off armor to increase our muck resistance would be pretty sweet. Oh, and we got blighted. That's very unfortunate. This is what null bears are for. Bam. Water blight is awful. It really tanks your uh, stamina recovery rate. Yeah, so whatever the weird thorn monster is, definitely killed that bear off before we arrived and really freaked the hell out of that researcher. Scared the crap out of him. So we kind of got to figure out what's going on with that. We'll figure it out eventually, I'm sure. I mean, you know, this is a video game after all. It is going to kind of point us in the right direction, you know. 
but it's not like a short-term thing. This is a long-term thing. This is something that we're going to have to keep in the back of our heads for quite a while. Quite, quite, quite a while. Let's also just get some more Jirototo research done while we're here, you know? May as well. May as well dig up some sticky mud and look for footprints or something. I don't know. Scrapes, gashes, that sort of thing. Is there anything over here we can grab? Can we grab like an herb or something? Do we have enough time for that? Probably not. Nope. Definitely not. Absolutely not. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That was not a terrible quest. That was pretty easy. I liked it, though. That was a fun one. Hey! And there's me just with my gun lance going right through the Girototus' neck. Ugh, that has to hurt. That looks painful. An aqua sack, some scales, armor sphere, bones, mushrooms. We're getting some medium monster bones now. That's good. Moving up in the world. No longer small monster bones. Ooh, and our rank went up, too. We're now hunter rank four. Palico leveled up. Shield proficiency went up quite a bit. Hey, and kinsect things. We're not going to worry about the kinsect. I'm not going to be using the kinsect glaive. It's a really cool weapon, though. It's a really cool weapon. Just not one that I'm going to be messing with. Maybe later. Maybe at some point. But not now. Not a not a main weapon. I'm enjoying the gun lance. I'm digging this. I think it's a blast. Pun not intended there. Gather around, everyone. We're ready to begin. Thanks to you, we've made great strides towards understanding the tracks that have turned up across the continent. Our researchers have done some projections, and now we know where Zora Magdaros will go next. It's heading for the Great Ravine. The Great Ravine? The huge valley out past the Wildspire? Correct. So I have a proposition for all of you. I say we try and capture Zora once it gets there. Have you gone mad? Capture it? Hear me out. The ravine is the perfect terrain for staging such an event. We're not going to get a better chance than this. <laughs> Meowskular Chef is here. <laughs> I like the sound of this. If we don't take this opportunity, it could be a decade before the next opportunity presents itself. Maybe longer. Is it even possible? If I said it wasn't, would that stop you? Let's give it a go. With the fifth supporting us, our chances are as good as ever. Then it's settled. Before we send the hunters out for the capture, we need to secure Astera. An Anjanath has been active in the area. Not the kind of monster you toy around with. We'll need a plan for it. You're right. Hunters, you have your next assignment. Take care of that Anjanath. Oh, no. But be careful. The Anjanath is a fearsome monster. One slip up and you're done. That is that is definitely true. Anjanath is scary. It's kind of the next big scary monster. Like it, it's a it's a bit of a spike in difficulty. Let's just say that. Commander, if I may, I think I have a great idea. Hunter, I could use your help. Drop by later if you will. Another thing, that troubling report we received. Think you could right. Good, then. Let's get this show on the road. We have an elder dragon to capture. Everyone dismissed. We should probably listen to what the chief botanist has to say before we do anything else. Oh, we're going to go capture the giant volcano monster. Isn't that awesome? That's so cool. Capture it? Well, as long as it can't hurt anyone. I don't have any objections. The captain. I've been watching the commission risk its life ever since I brought the first fleet here. But in all those years, I don't think I've ever felt as excited as I do Get now. Let's make this capture one for the history books. I agree. Mm -hmm. Just so you know, this capture operation isn't some kutku scheme I hatched yesterday. The trick was waiting for the right conditions. A successful crossing, an easy-to-spot elder dragon, a good team, and of course... Some good luck. I've been considering it as an option ever since we got here, and now is the right time. Oh, and then the Huntsman. There's there's a troubling report, and you're going to... 
What what's that all about? You want to tell me? You want to let me know what's going on? I may be away for a spell. Do it well. Watch over Astera. Huh. Whew. I couldn't have picked a trickier target. Do it well. I wonder if his troubling report and new mission have anything to do with the weird spikes that killed the Baroth that we were finding around there. The ones that made our scout flies change to a different color. Hey, Chief Botanist, I feel like you might be the guy that we just rescued out there. Whoa. I have no idea, though. Oh my, Anjanath is one nasty monster. You'd better make sure you go in doubly prepared. Now, down to business. The reason I called you over is... We're having a slight problem here in botanical research, and we need your skills dealing with it. You see, we're trying to develop some tools. Specialized tools for hunters, to be exact. Something we'd like to make standard issue. This is so cool. Oh, I want them. Give me all the good tools. I hope that they're amazing. And yes, I, they, they are. They're amazing. They're going to be great. Um, but a Toby Kadachi in the forest has been thwarting all of our attempts to collect the materials we need. Do take care of it, won't you? And here, take this. This is the first tool that we managed to complete. I hope you find it useful. There's more where that one came from. <laughs> But only if you can take care of our little problem. Thank you and good luck. We got the ghillie mantle. It's freaking sweet. It's so cool. So specialized tools. We get all these different tools that we can have. Ooh, mantles and other things. The ghillie mantle will temporarily prevent monsters from being able to see you. It's just an item. We have it. It's on a... It, so we activate it. We'll, we'll show it off. We'll show it off at some point. But we activate it. We are... Our next assignment is to hunt a Toby Kadachi. We should be able to find it in the ancient forest. We're interrupted constantly. Just everybody always has to interrupt me. Let me talk. This is my let's play. Um, <laughs> uh, we activate the mantle. We'll be invisible. It only lasts for, you know, a minute or so. A handful of seconds. You know, 90 seconds, something. I don't know. I don't know exactly what the time is. But it lasts for a little bit. And then it... it has to recharge, and then it's on like a five minute recharge time or something. Something like that. But, you know, really handy in a pinch. Elder Dragon or not, we can capture Zora Magdaros. I just know it! The trick is making sure we understand our target and go about the correct preparations. So, what's going on? Jirtotos is going on. Um, also, we haven't looked at our field guide recently. Have I shown... Do we have rank three of anything? No. There's the question marks now. I think this might be the new monster that we have not encountered, but we saw it spikes. <laughs> Diablos, we've learned enough about your weak points. Your head is mostly only weak to hammers. Everything else is kind of eh. Shots are not very effective against your torso. Shots are great against your wings, so your wings are very shootable, just not very hammerable. I like that. I like seeing those. There's generally not a lot of variance, at least not amongst like the the weaker monsters when it comes to different uh, different damage types, slicing, bashing, or shooting. So it's cool when there is a bunch. Um, Baroth rewards. Oh yeah, we can see this now. Baroth is level three, so we can now see the actual frequency of items. So normally, if we go look at like Kuluyaku. we can see that we can carve scales, hides, plumes, and beaks from Kuluyaku. And we can see that we can get as rewards, hide scales, plumes, and beaks. Once you hit rank 3, you can actually see the likelihood of them. If we kill Baroth and start chopping little parts off of him at the end, we are more likely to get Baroth ridges and shells, especially shells, very much shells. Claws, tails, and scalps, they're a little more rare. Um, if we catch him, or just for completing the quest itself... We can get all these other items. More likely to get ridges and shells. Also pretty likely to get claws, monster bone M's, and this is our only way to get fertile mud. Um, oh, well, not our only way. He can also drop fertile mud. And Baroth scalps are pretty rare. They're a pretty rare reward. And so I like that we can actually see those rewards. So if you need a specific item, you can figure out exactly what you got to do to get it. Um, there are lots of monsters, maybe not any that we have right now, but lots of monsters coming up that... The only way to get certain parts is to kill it and carve the part off. So, you know, things like that are helpful. What do you have to say? Captures or a Magdaros? My studies indicate it will be difficult, but I agree with the commander. We must do this for research, for science. Now, you must be as excited to catch the beast as I am to research it. No, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to draw up my research plan. Sounds great. 
We have so many quests and things that we gotta do. Getting the, uh, the ghillie mantle is pretty awesome. We got some quests to do. We gotta expand the canteen. We have a bunch of research, er, research. Ingredients. Ugh, that's the word. We have a bunch of ingredients that we need to go acquire. So, we might knock that out next time. Um, let's check gear real quick. Part of you must think the whole idea of capturing an Elder Dragon is insane, right? Well, I say the more insane, the better! Why come to the new world in the first place if we weren't ready to try something new, right? Yeah, I agree with that. Um... Gajal, this is from the catfish. We can get boots. Aquatic expert is kind of an interesting skill. It just means we can move around in water without being slowed down. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I like the stun resistance, though. Um, actually, I like focus. Actually, focus doesn't matter for this weapon. Never mind! <laughs> focus is, like, one of my favorite skills on the other weapons I use, like the long sword or the switch axe or the charge blade, because your gauge fills quicker. Increases the fill rate for weapons with gauges and the charge rate for weapons with charge attacks. Oh, so if you have like a hammer or a greatsword or something that charges up. Actually, this would be good for us because it would be um, reduced charge time when we're doing like the wyvern fire. That would just charge up and shoot quicker. 5% isn't a lot. 10% is a bit better. 20%, that's, you know, now you're talking. Um, Jirtotus armor is weak to fire and very, very, very weak to thunder. It has ice resistance built in, water attack, muck resistance, and aquatic expert again, the uh, move quicker when you're in the water. It's, uh, it's not a bad looking armor set, it's kind of cool. Man, I really wouldn't mind getting another piece of Baroth gear. Then let's look real quick. Last thing. To... Oh, we do have a Jirototos tree here, so we can get water weapons. That actually seems really important. Do we have enough parts to do that? We have enough parts to make a basic water weapon. Wide shelling type. And actually a decent chunk of green sharpness. Much more than what we have right now. 253 attack, 253 attack. So yeah, this is just a better weapon. It does a lot of water damage. So for things that are resistant to water, like Jirototos or Baroth, um, water will be effective against those monsters when they are covered in mud. It'll knock the mud off quicker. But once the mud is off, if we just like hit... Baroth with a water weapon, he, he kind of just ignores the water part. He's like, eh, thank you for washing all the mud off me, but that's already clean. Will you wash this part now? Like, it it doesn't really do extra damage. Um, but still seems really good. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a brand new gun lance. I'm really enjoying the gun lance. I might swap over and, and try another weapon here pretty soon, but we're going to do the gun lance at least for this next mission. So we'll make a new iron gun lance. Not gonna equip that. And we will come back here and we will upgrade the iron gun lance that we just made. So we gotta take it to Ireland gun lance 2. That's fine. We have so much iron ore. We don't really know what to do with it all. Um, I mean, we could equip it, doesn't really matter. And then we will upgrade it again into the Madness Gun Lance, which is just a cool sounding name. And it's pretty cool looking. It's like... Here, we'll, just, we'll take a look at it. Look at that! Look at that! It's got like the fins. Like fish fins. And then it's like got hardened mud armor and stuff around the shield and the lance. That's pretty cool. I like it. I like that. I like the, the visuals of a lot of the monsters. I like looking at a weapon that somebody has and being like, Aha! I know what monster that is. I, I know what you what they, I know what you killed. I know what it is. I got it. It's pretty cool. The uh, that's why I really like the huntsman down there and his really sweet green dragon katana that he's got. Oh, it's so cool. I want one of those as well. Maybe we'll use the longsword for a little bit. Yeah, we can do this next quest and then do a longsword mission. Um, since we're not fighting Anjanath next, we're gonna fight Toby Kadachi. 
maybe we'll just do that in this next mission. And then we'll deal with, like, getting more ingredients and whatnot after that. I think that sounds good. I think that sounds great. So, we got a plan. You got something to look forward to. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. And if you're playing Monster Hunter yourself, I hope you're enjoying the game. I'm really curious to know what weapons people are using. I, uh, we've talked about this a little bit in my stream. A couple people like using the long swords. Um, we, we've talked about some of the other weapons. People tend to be confused by the charge blade. I don't blame them. It's a very complicated weapon. Confused the hell out of me for the longest time. I didn't know how to use gun lance until I forced myself just, you know, a couple of videos ago. Um, I still don't know how to use the insect glaive. It, it is foreign to me. It is a, a thing I don't even understand. Ranged weapons, never use those either. But, yeah, I'm just I'm curious to know what people think of the game. Um, and, like, how their play style is. I like, I like seeing people play the game very differently from myself. I think it's awesome. But, yeah, anyway, done for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. And may the Sapphire Star light your way.